Hello fellow simmers and welcome to a brand new series of reviews and previews. This is series two now and this is Samuel Beeman speaking of British Locomotive Studios and I'm here to bring you another review on Train Simulator 2020. This time we're doing something quite special and something really unique actually. I came across this website looking through a load of Facebook community pages and all you lovely people commenting on the posts and I came across this website called Wayside Works and on their website they contained a few reskins actually and uh, routes like this one which is the Wello Light Railway which I'm showing this preview on and then I come across a model of a locomotive and this so happens to be the Ruston 48 DS locomotive which I, I was quite shocked and stunned to see. And I, I saw that somebody was making this on the on the community pages, this locomotive, and then to find it and finally get to, to have a go at it is, is fantastic. So without further ado, let's unpause our game and get into doing this review of the locomotive itself. Okay, so here is the Ruston 48 DS locomotive. Now these things are really cute actually. I mean, look how small they are. Um, I saw one of these. Now, the first time I ever saw one of these in reality was at the Cone Valley Railway, actually, because I was actually working on one with a friend. It was said to be ours. It probably would have been ours if we could actually get it to work. Basically, it was number YD43. And it was in orange, which was a really interesting colour because it was to resemble Rusty from Thomas the Tank Engine. And it was Rusty as well, funnily enough. Um, but yeah, so we couldn't get it running, sadly. And at the moment, it's, it's unclear what the uh, progress report is of the loco. But anyway, so back to topic. Wayside Works Rustons. So you get a BR Green livery. Get a BR green with wasp stripes livery. You get a plain BR blue livery. You get a BR blue livery with wasp stripes. And you also get another BR green livery, but it has a nameplate on the side, Sir William McAlpine. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the same name as the Ruston 48DS that, um, that Laurie's Locos owns, the Mid Suffolk Light Railway resident. Uh, yeah, so. That's nice to see in the pack. So basically, let's have a look around the model. That's what we need to have a look at. Uh, so he's modelled it really well, actually. You can see it's really captured nicely. We have a uh, nice buffer beam detailing. We have the, uh, the foot step underneath the buffer beam. We have the nice screw link coupling with the big round buffers. We've got the Ruston 3D plate on the top there which is to obviously resemble the brand Ruston and we also have a nice grill texture I mean it's not um, it's just sort of plastered on there it's not really sort of a 3d effect but it's there and it looks nice we also have some nice grill textures on the side of the loco where the doors are to open up the side panels they are sort of 3d they look 3d I imagine they are 3d look quite nice and also we do have a nice sort of weathering texture around the engine there so it's like a, a smutty dirty worked loco which is really nice we also well there should be a, a hole for the crank somewhere I don't know whether that's on the opposite side I think it is but he's modeled the wheels nicely we have the nice spokes in the wheels all there and present as well as the brake rigging underneath we also have the sanding pipes heading down to the wheels, which are all present and looking nice. The rear buffer beam is basically exactly identical to the other buffer beam on the other side. We have the lights above at the back of the cab there. And we also have the Ruston and Hornsby plaque on the side of the cab. Yeah, the crank uh, pin is, look, I think the crank's already in there, I think that's, that's what it's quite resembled there. So yeah, so moving into the cab. Now there is a cab view, but it's not workable. So this is a, um, it's basically a gimmick. It's a, um, it's, 
it's better than having a recycled cab from another loco isn't it so this is just a basically a camera plonked inside the cab of the model of the loco uh, none of these work none of the um it's a shame that none of these actually work but maybe that's something for the future so this is version three of the Ruston pack and basically it might not be the final version I'm not too sure but obviously we'll find out in the future but I mean overall I mean for an attempt of making a locomotive model I mean to make a loco model in train simulator it must be very complicated to make and it must take a serious amount of time to make something like this and it's just fantastic to see that somebody has gone to town and you know made something like this we even have the fuel cap on the top of the bonnet there as well and another one there and the exhaust and also the headlight on the top there as well i wonder if that works no sadly we don't have any working headlights at the moment as far as i can see it's a bit of a shame but yeah so anyhow we've had an overall look at the model so let's see how she sounds so what we're going to do is we're going to go and shunt some wagons over here so this is the Wayside Works Wello Light Railway. It's based on a sort of a short, small, industrial preserved heritage railway that runs from Wello to Shepton. And uh, yeah, it's, it's an okay route. It's quite nice. Uh, it's not fantastically detailed. I mean, there's, there is things that I would say that is very underdeveloped, but I think this could have been, this very well could have been one of their first routes or if that, the first route they've done. But like I say, you know, there is quite some barren areas that could use with a bit of work and uh, yeah, sorting out to get look more detailed and that because it is kind of lacking in scenery wise. But I mean, it's good if you've got a low spec computer and want to run a route that, you know, doesn't take up so much of a frame rate. Anyhow, let's get moving. So we'll put her into forward. And yeah. Let's go. Seems to don't have a horn. Don't know why that is. I seem to not be moving. That's interesting. Yesterday it worked. Okay, my keyboard has decided to... Oh, we've got to put in gears. It's got gears. Okay, so the horn isn't working today. I don't know why that is, but the horn worked yesterday. I forgot this is a gear worked loco. <laughs> oh, that's really good how he's done that. I must admit, I give him... I give him definitely top marks on the physics here. It's great to see that you have to put the loco in gear when moving it. That's really good. Fantastic loco physics. And it only goes up to gear three as well, so you can't go too fast with it. That's great. So it only goes about 10 mile an hour, which is probably about the speed that it probably does go in real life because these shanters are not very uh, powerful pieces of kit, are they? So, the sounds are directly exported from the Dovetail Games Class 02 shunters. It would have been nice if, like, they made it so that, you know, it had custom sounds. But, I mean, that's asking a bit much, I guess. Um, but you know there is ways of getting custom sounds on these locos maybe that's something they want to implement in the future but for now it's got the class 02 sounds which is a bit of a shame I guess It's nice to see a cab view of sort, isn't it? Like, it's better to have a cab like this than to have 
another low coast cab instead. going down the wrong road, would you believe it? It's not very prototypical driving there guys, Just I'm just trying to speed up the video a bit by you know, seeing how it drives and chatting with wagons. Very, very nice physics. How it drives is really, really nice. Well done, Wayside Works. Fantastic. At least... We don't seem to have porn working at the moment. All that works. Oh, cool. Look at that. Now, I reckon... I reckon that he's going to animate these and make these work in the future. I reckon... In version 4, because I imagine that version 3 isn't the last version, that he'll get these, see it's got brakes, that he's going to get these, all of these um, controls actually working. We've got a lean out view as well, which is pretty cool. So what the cab view, so basically you've got that side or that side, you know, it's one side or the other basically. Got the cab light, no, I don't think so. So lights and stuff are yet to be uh, implemented it seems. So you've got no cab light, you've got no headlights and we haven't got a work, fully functional working cab yet. So this is something that probably what the lads at Wayside Works are still working on. But yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with this and I think they've done a grand job because making something like this, a model for train sim, you know, a locomotive model, and not being that bad, I think the detail on it is, is really, really nice. They've done a really good job on it, uh, but to make something like this for train sim, it takes so much effort and so much time. And I, I think the, ga the guys at um, Wayside Works have done a grand job on the physics, the overall look of the model. And yeah, well done guys, seriously, well done. And uh, yeah, so anyway, this is where we're going to uh, end our video, I think. So, Thank you guys for watching this look at the Wayside Works Ruston 48DS locomotive. We hope you enjoyed watching this. I'll post a link in the description of the video of where you can download these Ruston locos and a link to the Wayside Works website. 
Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And also, as well, I'll link our Facebook group and our website into the description of the video as well. So you guys can check those out and see the many content that we have for Train Simulator. And also, the UK Train Sounds website is also can be found on the BLS website as well. And that's where we do the Train Z sounds uh, for the Train Z series. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and goodbye for now.